So this is the native watercraft Slayer 13. I met up with Peter this morning from Basic Fishing and we're out at one of the hydro lakes at the Waikato River. And we don't even know what the name is of that lake. Do you remember what that lake is called here? Yeah? Takaramu or something? Takamaru Maru? I don't even know what this lake is. Fuck. Fuck is. Well, it they, is cold here. It's really cold this morning. Peter came to visit us this morning and he's got a new kayak. Check this out. That's the original kayak of my old kayak, my dream kayak. And the kayak I used to have, the dream kayak, was basically a knockoff of that kayak. And it's got a few modifications, so I'm kind of keen to have a look what's been done to this kayak. When it comes to big kayaks like this, a lot of people say it's impossible to put it up. You need a trailer and all that. Well, you can tell that definitely the quality of this kayak is uh, much better than my old um, dream kayaks. So you got like a ton of extra things. Let's start from the front maybe and have a look at it. Uh, yes. Got yourself a, uh, what is it called? Um, a pulley system. A pulley system for the sea anchor or for the normal anchor I suppose. And the hatch here is actually really cool as well. And it's molded, so even if water gets in here, you only get water into that part. Yeah. Like on my kayak, uh, it was like went straight into the hull. Oh. So if there was water in there, it always was in the hull afterwards. You got another little drain, like here, I don't know what that is for, to wow. get into the hull. I suspect people would have put their catches in there. As the previous owner told me that he had this um, transduder underneath on his uh, pedal drive. Okay. But from what I heard, the uh, Reading can be interfered. Oh, yeah. You know, you can get a transducer mount from Railblazer as well. Yes. And then it just, you plug it in here and then just goes over the side. Yeah. But so, so far, <laughs> I didn't need to use the fish finder. The good thing about the kayak is that you can, instead of relying on the elements like you do in um, land based fishing or depend on the elements to work on your favor, which 90% of the time is pretty much against you. With the kayak, you can work with the environment. Like yeah. they said, go with the flow. I really like those Railblazer um, accessories. I've got a whole lot of installed on my dinghy now too. They're not, they're not cheap, but they're very useful. But you've got like tons of rails to install things easily, like on the front, on the side. Yeah. What's this for you? Uh, my desk for the paddle. Okay, the paddle holder. Yeah. And then it's all, it also has some uh, cool foot rests here and anti-slip rests. What's this here? I don't know, that goes inside the kayak itself, so the hollow part. It looks like a mounting thing for the fish finder or something. Huh? Yeah, probably. For the fish finder display. The seat is still looking in very good condition as well. Eh? We got another hatch here in the back, a really small cup holder hatch or something. Oh no, that's a key pouch. Oh, a key pouch. <laughs> but I don't use it. That's quite handy, actually. Oh, but what's this ah, sort of construction the for? The previous owner used it for a motor. Ah, yeah, yep. Yeah. That, that's what I thought. It looks like you can uh, attach a little motor here, yeah? like a little trolling motor. Yeah. So he mo he put this whole thing on you. That's not originally here. This. It's a custom. Black. That's the customized thing. Oh, okay. Carbon. I don't know what you need a motor for if you have a pedal guy, guy. Okay? That's kind of. Uh, I mean, I would put a motor maybe on a on a normal kayak, but on a on a pedal drive kayak, you don't really need a motor. I've seen a video where a man had um, all the toys to the point where the kayak looked like a little boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> really overkill. What company is that one here? No idea what that is. So this is a, a gear-driven drive. So you got like, you know, you got your gears, you got your shaft, and then you got your gears down here to drive the propeller. Was it on here before? What's, yeah. What, what's that for you? Uh, that is to keep the propeller in line. So you do that, so that you can slip it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know what that was for until like on my second trip. Like, yeah. Oh, so that's what it's for. Oh, uh, that's, that's good. Cause you never know when you want to lift it up where your propeller position is. This is like a rod holder, cup holder combination, yeah? Yeah, but I barely use it. To be honest, it's not even that good. But this is the important part. Our whistle to blow for safety. <laughs> for those who've seen the Titanic, do you remember when there was an officer, he was blowing on the whistle <laughs> and eventually he dies and Rose, also known as Kate Winston, grabs the whistle and blows it. 
that's yeah. essential. <laughs> but this is the import. Uh oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Ah, uh, is it like um, uh, one of those beacons? Yes. Basically, you get this one push of a button and help us on the way. Well, you got like tons of lures. You should yeah. assume my my lure my lure box looks really poor compared to that one. I got some black magic gears, some soft bait a quarter one eighth of an ounce. I might use. Funny story, this was pink, but somehow it turned orange. But this might work to my advantage because if there are a rod in this lake, then I might be in some luck. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Peter's going on this kayak and I'm going on the boat. And let's be honest, saltwater fishing so much easier than freshwater fishing. <laughs> Stick down here, wait, wait for you later. And uh, yeah, how long will you be? Uh, maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes. Let's start with the rudder. Okay, let's see if I can launch this boat by myself today. Peter's already out there fishing. It was so bad out there, especially closer in, and unfortunately that's where, where, where all the trout were. After you lost your fly reel. Yeah, somewhere in there. Got stuck in the net. The hook is tangled. Oh! What's this lake called again? Fakamaramu. Faka, Faka, Fakamaru. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's full of weed and the pedal drive. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I could reverse it and peel it off, but it just keeps ripping off. You can take it apart and then. Oh, I could do that too. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Looks like a cable running through. It's like a cable drumming. Uh, I didn't go up. <laughs> 